Hello everyone and welcome to another Digimon card game unboxing video. This time I'm going to be unboxing BT08, the, in the English version of course, which is New Awakening. Now, just before I begin, I've already unboxed two BT08 Japanese versions, which are called New Hero. Now, that this is kind of a weird one, that they changed the name to something longer. Instead of New Hero, meaning that it's focusing on Ghost Game and Zero Two, both as being new heroes, with Zero Two being new to Adventure and Ghost Game being new to the Digimon franchise. And of course, the fact that the main character in Ghost Game is called Hero. So they kind of missed it here a little bit. It's, uh, it's called New Awakening, which is also a longer name than New Hero. So I'm not really sure what they're going for there. Usually the names are more or less the same, like they're just direct translations. And uh, also painfully the Cross Encounters one, we've seen the English packaging for that and it's still called Cross Encounters, which is a bit of a weird one because the show was actually called Fusion. But yeah, everything has been more or less the same titling except for Battle of Omni slash Battle of Omega. So a bit of a weird one that we've got a new awakening instead of new hero. But that's just something that I wanted to kind of talk about. Like why did they call it? I have no idea. So let's get started and let's look at our box toppers. Sadly, no Miyako. We get Kari instead. And we have Aerovigimon Zero, which is from V-Tamer. And I can't remember what the other... I do... I did get the Japanese versions of these cards when they came out. They came out with the... Uh, I'm just going to use scissors. Everyone's favourite part when I use scissors. Um, the, I got these two with that sort of catalogue of what cards have been out so far. And uh, oh yeah, it's all, it's all Force Feedramon Zero. So that's kind of cool. We get those cards as well. But yeah, those cards came out ages ago in that catalogue that was... Oh, I want to say almost a year ago now. I, I want to say it was like July. But uh, yeah, so here are our box toppers. Pretty standard with the English releases that the box toppers are in these uh, clear plastic packets instead of the design ones like we have in the Japanese version. You'll also notice that I've kind of organised the stage a bit better so there's more room. Um, I might bring in the backdrop for other videos, I just took it out for a bit just because it was getting a little bit cluttered in here. So we'll see how that goes. So yes, yeah, so let's see if I can make people nervous by using scissors to open up packets. Well, there we go. But yeah, so this set, as I said, is 02 and Digimon Ghost Game focused. So uh, let's see if we can get lots of uh, Yo Lee because Yo Lee's my favorite. I'm really looking forward to the English release of uh, of the Cross Encounters one, but on, but I mean, oh no, we've, we've got all the cards now. I was going to say I'm looking forward to seeing what names they give to Tugadu because he never got a name in the English dub. There was no English dub at all. So I, I'm also just thinking that they'll not give him a name. They'll just give him, like, it'll, be a, it'll just be his name, as in Tugadu, rather than... A, uh, a a translated name, but uh, it is weird that we're now getting to the point where we're getting the later seasons of Digimon, which didn't really get released as wide, widely in uh, in English as the other seasons. So obviously here we've got Ghost Game, which is simulcasting on Crunchyroll, which is pretty nice. It is nice to have a series that is coming straight away to a legal streaming service. I'm really glad they're doing that because they didn't with Atmon. Atmon didn't actually come out on Crunchyroll until I think about three or four years after it had actually finished on uh, airing in Japan. So I'm really glad that we don't have to do that again because I love Atmon. And also I'm wondering if... Yay, Gammon! I'm wondering if we will be getting... Atmon in this card game. Oh, also, I know I noticed this in the last English box set, but again, no filler cards to be the last card in the pack. You know those cards that 
might have like some uh, art or commercial on it and then the English ones tend to have a, a list of cards in the set and of course also with this card game in particular one side would be a uh, the memory gauge but I guess we're not doing that in the English version anymore kind of sad about that because I do like those uh I have started making too many piles I have three green piles and that should be its own pile there we are but uh yeah so yeah pretty excited to see what uh where we go now we're almost finished with I have messed up my piles and um, once we're done with all the seasons of the anime I wonder where we'll go. I also note that we haven't actually gotten any uh, any actual adventure original chosen children. We've gotten their uh, their Kazuna counterparts, and uh, did we get Try? I think we got their Try their Try at least. Yeah, we we got their Try counterparts. So we've got the Try counterparts there counterparts in Kizuna and obviously they're ones from the reboot but we've not actually seen them in uh, their regular original anime form so that feels really strange to me I guess it makes sense because I've made an extra pile again that's for babies um, the armor texture that's really, really... I can't remember what the card was called in the original, but that feels like weird wording. Oh, yeah, I've made too many baby piles. But, uh, yeah, I'm wondering if we'll ever get to see the adventure ones. It makes sense that we didn't get them originally because the adventure colon was just coming out and they were going to kind of promote that more than they would promote you know, a show that's not currently airing. But now that Colin's well and truly over, I'm wondering if we're going to revisit those original forms. Yes, Surfimon, one of my favourites, just on the basis that his design is just so extra. He's a, he's a fan design Digimon, which are always my favourites. And uh, I just love him. So is Akakimon, for that matter. Like, I know I mention this every time we get a fan design uh, Digimon that becomes more and more canon, like it might just start showing. I've made too many piles. What's wrong with me? I keep on combining my black and purple. Like, if you've had, they're very similar. But uh, yeah, I just, I love the fan designs, especially when, in the case of, for example, Soundbirdmon was quite a fixture of the Adventure Colon. So, ooh, that's pretty. Melomyotismon, looking very cool there. I like him a lot, but uh, what even what colour is that? Is that a purple? I think that's purple. I would say so. But uh, yeah, like how pleased would you be if you're this kid who designed Soundbirdmon like 15 years ago and now he's like a recurring bad guy on Adventure Call and that maybe even your kid is now watching. Like, I don't know, I, th I think that's pretty cool. Cross Encounters comes out this month, so that's exciting. Always excited to uh, to open more cards. Maybe one day I'll actually play the game. I, I played a game, oh, but I, I want to play like more games than just the than just you know playing one or two. I want to actually go to like some competitions or something, but I don't think that there are any card game shops that are near me that have you know events for things like I don't know pre-releases or the Digimon equivalent of Friday Night Magic I guess like I don't think it, oh that's good art of Gazimon I love that see I would love to actually play this game just a little bit more because it's actually a fun game it's it's super well done and the art's really done like the art's really done the art's really well done skipped a word there and I just really, I don't know, I really like it. I also just love how all the art's great, but I love little cases like we've got Betsumon playing the card game. That's kind of precious. I want to see someone cosplaying as Betsumon, 
playing the card game and playing this card. I oh, know I just think that'd be cute. Hey, Hawkmon. And Shirimon, of course. Frost Velgamon. For some reason, I'm surprised that they actually didn't mess up the spelling here. The card game's pretty been, been pretty weird with the translations. For some reason, I was expecting Floss Velgamon. Uh, I don't know why, but I was, so props to them. And that's, of course, I'm just seeing an option card in the wrong pile. And that's, of course, because of cards like Baby Domon, which is Baby Demon, but they call him Baby Domon, which is really funny, but that's now his name because it's canon, even though it's very weird. I know, I mention this every single time I open an English pack, you're probably saying, hey, you say that literally every time you open a pack. Don't you have any new content? Well, these unboxings kind of work as a uh, train of thought kind of thing. You kind of just get a uh, an insight into what's going on in my mind when I'm opening these cards. Maybe you're just watching for the uh, for my commentary. Maybe you're watching just to see what cards are open. Maybe you have this on mute. Maybe you can't hear me at all. But uh, here's uh, Dramojimon, favourite art. I had him hold, being held up to the... Uh, to the camera a little bit long there just because I wanted to finish my uh, train of thought before I passed off that incredible art. I just didn't just want to ignore it. Innocence Blizzard. That's cool. Myotismon, who is... Uh, I'm just going to date this video because I'm not sure when I... I kind of have a backlog of all these videos that I've already edited and uploaded, but uh, as of recording this, the episode of Ghost Game that is tomorrow will be this one. Because sometimes I record these and I like being organised. I like having a huge chunk of videos that are just done. So that's if I don't feel like recording, there's never like... I'm never forced to record if I don't feel like it. I can sort of say, well, I don't feel really up to recording today. I'm never going to force myself to do a video because that's not fun. It's, it's not fun to be on a video and not want to be there. And that definitely comes across in content, if I'm not feeling like doing a video. So why would I force myself to make content that is less enjoyable? So I basically, whenever I do feel up to making videos, I try to make more than one. In this case, I'm only making the one because these videos are a little bit longer than the other ones. Like when I'm recording, the quick, like, less than 10 minute long videos that I do with my face in it, those I will usually maybe record three. And just be, and except for the ghost game videos, because I'm usually doing a podcast straight away after it. But in that case, I'm still, re I'm still recording two videos because the podcast kind of counts. But in any case, I like to have at least three videos coming out a week Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, the exception being on Mondays I will have a podcast on, but I'll release that Monday night. So there's kind of like a Monday morning upload that I can skip if I feel like it, but I typically don't. And then of course there's the Sunday Ghost Game episode, but I don't really count that too much. But most of the time I want to have at least the uploads Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So to do that, I, I, just, I keep on putting babies in the wrong pile. To do that, I make sure that I have, like, a backlog of at least a week. Because sometimes I'm not feeling great. Sometimes I don't feel well for whatever reason. Sometimes I just want to do other stuff. Sometimes I've got things on. Like, next weekend, I have uh, a dog, two dog shows on the Saturday. And then I have the Million Paws Walk, which is a charity walking event for the RSPCA. And that's on Sunday. And of course, I also have ghost game stuff after when I come back from that as well. So I particularly won't be having much time to do any videos, except for obviously the ghost game ones, which will be done late Sunday. So I I can do that because I know that I have enough videos to not just take up this upcoming week, as also with also next week as well, and I also might record before work a few times during the week but I don't I don't need to if I really don't feel like recording I don't have to so I'm I'm not like 
just going like one video by one video. I'm I'm not forcing myself to do videos if I don't feel up to it because then I just they won't be good. I won't enjoy doing them. Are they? I will be not my usual optimistic happy self. So they won't be fun for anyone. They'll be probably less fun for the viewer, less fun for me to do. So just not worth doing. So, and that is why I love Catch Maui on so much. That's why I try to uh, have a bit of a, a buffer. Like at least, as I said, one or two weeks worth of uh, videos so I can take a break now and again. And that's why also, if you watch the videos that involve me in front of the camera, you might also notice that, no, I'm not just wearing the same shirt a billion days in a row. I'm usually recording multiple videos on that day. Yay, Silphimon! I love Silphimon. Very cool. And, ooh, this must be our uh, parallel card. Got the name right that time. Usually I call it alt art or foil or any other vast array of words that I can use. But uh, yeah, so that, that's typically an insight because these videos tend to be kind of like, if you're not interested in the cards and you just want to hear me talk, this could almost be a podcast, except I'm not releasing it on a podcast platform. So yeah, it's just a bit of an insight that that's how I do things here. I... I'm not going to force myself to do a video when I don't feel like it, but I also don't want to have videos, like, just not... Okay, I should have definitely muted a Tamagotchi before. I, I know I say this every time as well, like, I should I should always mute my virtual pets. No, I never do. Never. Never, ever, ever. And there's the non-parallel version of the card we just opened. I, I prefer the parallel version. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I prefer the normal version. Yeah, the parallel one I got for the Japanese one, uh, I think I got a secret for one of them, and then I got a parallel one for the other one, and it was Holsimon, I think? That sounds about right. I know I have a Holsimon, whether or not I just bought it anyway. But, uh, yeah, so I... yeah, that, that is why you will also, yeah, if I record... I re tend to record, like, maybe two or three, at least two videos with my face in it. That's why uh, you'll, you'll be able to tell because I'll be wearing the same clothes in those videos. So I have just, okay, my black pile is, my purple pile has become my black pile. And I also think I put the, no, I put that right. There we are. Okay, back to the train of thought. But uh, yeah, that's just, that's just how I do things. Sorry to burst anyone's bubble who thought I wear this, the exact same clothes multiple times in a day, in a row, tend not to. Because sometimes I'll be like, I'll, I'll think about it too, like, I'm releasing these two videos, like, within two days of each other. I really hope people don't think I'm wearing the same shirt three days in a row, or what have you. Because, no, I, I don't just record one video. I do, on, on occasion, sometimes record one video. Uh, as I said before, in the case of my Ghost Game review videos, I will do those... I'll just do the one video. I don't think I've ever recorded another video after that because I typically, once I'm done with that video, I upload it and uh, it's all, well, I edit it, obviously, and then I upload it. And then I'm basically straight away going into a podcast recording with Quinn and Chloe. So I don't really have much time to do any other videos. I think the only time that I did do one video after another, as well as the podcast, was in the case of Digimon Con, but I wasn't really feeling up to doing a full podcast that day anyway, so we ended up doing that podcast separately from Quinn and Chloe, just because it was also just easier for everyone if we did that. And uh, yeah, so I ended up recording a Digimon Con wrap-up video, my ghost game review video, and of course the ghost game podcast. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. I like the green cards. Yeah, so that, that's, that, that's how I do things. And if anyone wants any advice on uh, 
starting up any form of like content creation like a YouTube channel or whatever that's like the biggest bit of uh, advice I would give is that you should enjoy what you are doing because if you're not enjoying it the people who are watching your content are probably not going to enjoy it you're not going to be I want to say on your best behavior but that's probably the wrong wording but you're not going to be up to your best standard the best version of you if you're not feeling good if you're like I have done videos when I've been recovering from a migraine before and I can absolutely tell like they're just like I'm not sure I mean, when I'm recovering I'm tend to be okay but I can they just don't feel as hey we've got a secret that's pretty cool I think that's exactly the same secret we got in the Japanese one as well but yeah I, I just just listening back on videos I can definitely even if I don't remember if I had a migraine or not once I watch the video I can absolutely tell if I was recovering from something because I'm they're just not they're not as good like I'm not able to put out my words well enough I'm not as bouncy as I tend to be I'm, I tend to be quite excited I use a lot of hand gestures I kind of move around a lot when I speak I kind of you know I'm, I'm quite a lively person or I tend to be so I can definitely tell when I'm not a lively person is that when I when something's wrong and when I probably shouldn't have done any podcast oh that's really cool I love that I love bunch at mommy mon but yeah so that's like one of the biggest bits of advice that I'd give to anybody if you are not enjoying it do not do it um, even if you think that you have to do it you shouldn't because you're not you, if you're not enjoying it then why are you doing it basically like it's if it's not your job if it's just a content creation hobby if you're not if you're not enjoying it and you want to enjoy it look at the reasons why you're not enjoying it look at what you can do to make it so you do enjoy it and try to in and then just find bits that you do enjoy and do those don't do the things you don't enjoy i love kogamon look at that little guy he's a friend so yeah i would never push yourself to do something that you don't want to do uh, it should be obvious but it's not you might think oh, i have to get this video out i really have to i have to i have to stick to this thing and that's something i fell into a lot i've been podcasting for uh, now seven years seven years as of early may this year and there's a lot of times where, and you can go back and listen to the hundred. We've got, we've got over 400 episodes of the podcast because we've been doing it for seven years, and there was a few times we did several episodes a week with when Atmon and Try were both airing at the same time, and we still covered the podcast as normal. We shouldn't have. I was I overdid it. In hindsight, I would have definitely just limited myself to how many videos or how many podcasts I could do a week because it was just one a week, and that's what I did. But there were times, like, I had the actual flu, not just, oh, I have a bad cough, I have a bad cold, I have a sniffle. No, I had, like, the actual flu, the, you know, the, the thing that people, you know, the, the thing that people were worried about before COVID, uh, and I had that. And I, after the podcast, the next day, I didn't have a voice. And I used to love, I used to run, like, six kilometres a day at that stage. And I could not run at all for like several weeks it took it out of me so much could barely breathe I still did the podcast and I regret it it wasn't a good podcast we actually only recorded half of it and then I recorded the next bit like at 3 a.m and that's because I passed out I was really sick I was it was the flu it wasn't just you know a bad cold a bad cold I probably would have like even now I think I still would do videos if I had a cold uh but if it was a bad cold, probably not. It depends how I felt. If it's, a, if it's a cold, but I'm still well enough to do it and I want to do it and I'm happy doing it, then do it. But I absolutely forced myself to do this podcast when I had the flu. And I, I would not do that now. No, no way. It, it's, I, I can assure you it's not fun to listen to someone who is really sick. It's just not fun for the person who is sick to recording and it wasn't fair on my co-host Jay who was clearly worried about me and I also wasn't fun to be around because I was sick no one who is sick is fun to be around because they're sick 
they tend to just feel worse than normal. No one, no one wants that. No one is happy. No one is happy if you're suffering. No one. So it's not, it's, this is a trap that I fell into a lot when I was starting out. Like I was always, I have to do the podcast. I have to do the podcast. I'm, I'm really sick, but I have to do the podcast. No, it's not like, even with my job, I get sick leave. If, if I'm not feeling like work, I will typically work, but that's because I'm kind of paid to. And I also, I also do genuinely enjoy my job, but if I'm sick, I'll take a sick day. I get 10, 10 a year and they accrue. Like, even if, if you have to do something, like, you know, you have to work because you are paid to work, you get sick days. You can take them. I don't take 10 sick days a year, but I could. So think of it like that. Like, why would you, the people who are paying you, who, you know, quote-unquote actually need you to be there, be okay with you not coming to work? take breaks, breaks are important, look at this art, look at this little guy, 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 look at this art. This is probably my favourite art in the whole of the card game. And yes, I do say that to every single card that I see because it's so precious, but look at those guys, oh, I love them. But yeah, don't, uh, basically, uh, moral of the story, uh, don't do things that you don't want to do. And I know that seems like an obvious thing, but if... And it, it wasn't obvious to me for a long time. Like, I would, like, oh, I have to do this video. So, yes, if you are looking to get into content creation, that's the number one bit of advice. If you don't enjoy it, don't do it. If you, if you think of it as a chore, like, if you think of, like, oh, doing this video or doing this podcast or editing this or even one part of it, maybe you like the recording, maybe you don't like the editing part or anything else, like the, pre the preparations. Uh, look at why you don't like the preparations. Change that up a bit. Why don't you like the editing? Can you pay someone to edit on your behalf? If you don't like editing, uh, maybe just do a live stream version. Just remove editing altogether. That live stream podcast still do very well. You just live stream them. And then you, record, you upload the audio from the live stream to the podcast platform. No effort. It's but, but it's still very very good. And so if your like in, and if your content of the podcast is good, you know you can you can do that. Like it's just, just because something's easy doesn't mean it's not good, or it's a lower quality. Just remember that. Oh, that's cool, Algamon. I love him, and another selfie mon. So yeah, look at what you don't enjoy. Like if you're just not feeling it at that day, record it tomorrow. Don't feel like it tomorrow, next day, next week, whatever. Don't do things if you don't feel like them is the most important bit of a takeaway that I can give you. If and yeah, if you just don't enjoy what you're doing, change what you're doing. Simple as that. If you don't want to do it now, don't do it now. If you don't like what you're doing at all, any day of the week, don't do it, change it up. Find what you do like and do what you do like. Don't do what you do, don't like. Uh, because the content creation is meant to be fun. Do you think I'm sitting here going, oh, I really, oh, I can't wait for this to be over. Oh, I hate this, I hate this. The only time I actually want to rush through videos is when my phone is overheating or is running out of space, which is not doing either of those things. So I get to just talk, 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 talk forever until, of course, I do get any of those error messages and then I'll rush things up. So... Yeah, I'm not sitting here hating every second of it. So if you want to do a video or whatever you choose to do in your own content creation, don't... Like, if, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh, I want this to be over, why are you doing it? Like, this is meant to be fun. This is a hobby. I do this as much for myself as I do for anybody watching this right now. I enjoy it. I'm happy. I enjoy what I'm doing. I want to keep on doing this. And that's why I'm doing it. If I'm sick not going to do something if I don't feel it well or I'm not going and I'm not happy if I'm not feeling like doing a recording I won't simple as that and that's the number one bit of advice this turned into like a TED talk on content creation I'm not obviously the, the you know I'm not like this isn't God's word or anything you don't have to listen to what I say but that's just what I'm saying through my own experience I've just completely messed up these cards at all they were meant to be in piles but they're definitely not but yeah so I hope that like what I'm saying makes sense and I'm really hoping that it at least helps one person who's maybe considering getting into content creation 
uh, never feel like you have to get up a, a huge like like oh no I have to do a, a, I have to do this video I have to do this video there is no have to there is want to I want to do this video oh wow I can't wait until this uh, this Digimon comes out so I can uh, do a video on it oh wow this Digimon arrived I can I can do a video on it there is no ah oh, now this Digimon arrived I have to do a video that's that's not the right mindset that you want. You want to go into these things and be like, oh, yeah, I'm excited for this. Yeah, woo. Because if you're not, like, ex like, wanting to do these videos, why should anybody want to watch or consume your content in any way? If you're not, if you're not happy doing it, why should someone be happy consuming it? You've got to sell your product by enjoying it yourself. If you don't enjoy it, why should other people... And that's basically my advice. I, I don't really tend to give advice, but I, I guess I just gave like 30 minutes worth of rambling just to say like, a, I mean, this is a TLDR version. Uh, you don't like something, don't feel like doing something, don't do it. Because, especially, I mean, mainly in content creation, is this is what the topic was. But uh, don't force yourself to do something you don't want to do because you don't have to. Uh, if you have like a huge viewership, They'll understand. They don't want to see you suffering. And, uh, yeah, th those are my thoughts on that. Uh, and that was uh, New Awakening. Terrible name uh, for that uh, uh, overall. Like, why did they not call it New Hero? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But, anyway, uh, those are my thoughts. If it somehow meant something to you, say so in the comments. I hope I wasn't just rambling. Uh, I enjoyed at least talking about it, so... Hopefully someone enjoyed listening to me talk about it. But uh, yes, yeah, so let me know in the comments, like this video, if, uh, if I don't know, I, I'm not terrible to listen to for 30 minutes or 30 plus minutes of your time. Subscribe if you want more videos of me just rambling about Digimon and other stuff. And because there's lots of those videos, there's seven years worth of content there, so go nuts. Uh, if you want the episode where I had the flu, it was during, I don't know the exact episode number, but it was the Digimon Savers slash Data Squad episode with Adrian Mojimon on it. That's all I remember. I mean, I'm like 90% sure that's the one. I'm pretty sure it has Dramojimon as part of the thumbnail. So uh, there's an indicator of what to look to if you want to see uh, or hear me at my sickest. Um, and I, it's probably terrible, so don't expect much. I'm sick. You, I, I don't know. I shouldn't have done it. Uh, in hindsight, I wouldn't have done it if... If I was, if I'm, if I'm sick now, I wouldn't do a video, wouldn't do a podcast, wouldn't do anything. I would just rest because I'm sick. But uh, yeah, so that was that video. Let me know all your thoughts and more in the comments. Love to hear them. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, etc, etc, etc. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.